Kenya's strategic position in East Africa gives it more impetus as the region's hub of trade, with the port of Mombasa being the gateway. Over the years, the country has owned the position, but the high cost of transporting goods through the Kenya border and the hinterland has seen most traders opt to use the port of Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. In efforts to demystify the high cost of logistics in Kenya, KTN's Charles Gitonga spent time with importers and cargo handlers in Mombasa and brings us the following report. Kenya is home to East Africa's biggest port, the port of Mombasa. The port currently has a capacity to handle 25.5 million tons of cargo throughput, making it a beehive of activity with the government keen on expanding it. That said, it has not been without its fair share of competition in the recent past, with the port of Dar es Salaam offering stiff competition. The issue boils down to costs. Recent statistics by the Shippers Council of Kenya indicate that a trader spends about 422,000 shillings to move a standard 40-foot container through the northern corridor from the port of Mombasa to Kigali in Rwanda, 572,000 shillings to Bujumbura in Burundi, 662,000 to Juba, South Sudan, and 616,000 shillings to Goma in eastern DRC. For the same amount of cargo from the port of Dar es Salaam, traders are spending 378,000 shillings to Kigali, 396,000 shillings to Bujumbura, and 413,000 shillings to Goma. But what brings about the difference? You take the distance from uh, Dar es Salaam to, to Kampala, and you take the distance from uh, Nairobi to, to, I mean, from Mombasa to Kampala. I think the, the, the difference is about uh, 350 to 400 kilometers. That 350 to 400 kilometers transportation comes at an additional uh, at an additional cost their fuel is a little bit cheaper in my own opinions they have been having very good roads the infrastructure has been very good uh, especially the main roads eh? uh, secondly uh, third if you look at the investment you need to put in in Tanzania for, to purchase a truck it's lower with that being the case players in the sector still see Kenya as the most strategic gateway into East Africa the story is that Mombasa is losing cargo to Dar es Salaam and, 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 and vice versa. We are serving different uh, hinterlands. Dar es Salaam serves uh, basically what is referred to as the central corridor, which links it to uh, Rwanda, it links it to uh, Zambia and all these other, you know, uh, south, south uh, central uh, located African uh, countries. We are serving Sudan, we are serving uh, Eastern DRC, we are serving Uganda. Players in the logistics sector are positioned in the way that they have their fingertips on the heartbeat of the economy because of their significant role in trade. However, they feel that the government needs to fast track certain developments that have to do with the surrounding infrastructure such as rail and road. I feel there's more to be done, more can still be done. I mean, especially when it comes to the road conditions, you would see that uh, the transit time has been reduced, but the conditions of the road are not good. One of the developments that players in this sector believe will improve price competitiveness is the standard gauge railway. Development of SGR, however, has sparked fears among many transporting companies who feel the line might run them out of business despite the billions invested. And for me, it's a, a question of uh, how well then they will adapt when the, rail, uh, when the railway comes. Right? I, I, I can tell you without a shadow of doubt that you will still need trucks in this, uh, in this environment. The logistics business in Kenya is at an exciting phase with a lot of infrastructure and capacity expansion initiatives being in the pipeline. However, players in this sector say the future depends on how soon the government can deliver these promises to beat competition from Tanzania. Charles Gitonga, KTN.